Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here with your Wednesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, so uh, hunkered down here in New Jersey, waiting for you know Snowmageddon 2.0. Um, let's look at the daily chart. You can see that we're still in this period of consolidation, and I'm going to show you an hourly chart in a minute. It's really going to demonstrate why we've been chopping and whipping so much this week. Bands are fairly tight. 4.3, I think it was 4.44 when we talked yesterday. Uh, so you can see the bands are coming in and that's setting up the next move. You've got the FOMC today, you've got the rate decision at two o'clock, then you got a 2.30 press conference with Powell. I'm pretty sure this is his first press conference, so that's gonna be interesting. Um, so the market could be in a holding pattern for that kind of a move, or the market could just be consolidating and you know, the, the Fed certainly offers the opportunity uh, for one side or the other, or maybe both sides to try to take control of this tape. If the bulls are going to take control, they need to convert the green line. The um, 20 day simple moving average, the daily mid band, that's up at 27.38. It's basically been there all week, 37.38. You convert 38, then you can deal with the nine day, 53 and, uh, 53 and change, and eventually migrate back up towards the round number 2800, which they had incredible difficulty dealing with back on the 12th and 13th, Monday and Tuesday of last week. As far as the Bears go, well, they've got just as many problems down at 2,700. And they have demonstrated this week an inability to really push lows in a meaningful fashion. Um, the, um, you know, you got your Monday low, 2697.25, they couldn't finish that off. Yesterday, you know, they went down and did 12.75. They did had three opportunities in the like the 12 to 14 area, and they could not convert those, and it just set up a day of, of consolidation. So let's hop over the hourly chart. That's a lot of consolidation. That's overnight. This is yesterday in regular session. Okay, so you had a period of consolidation. Remember last week that uh, culminated in big move down to the monthly pivot on Monday. Monthly pivot holds. We grind back up in the regular uh, session on Monday, and then basically Tuesday was a day of whipping around. And so far in the overnight, we haven't really gone anywhere. You've got the Fed coming up here, and we'll see. You can see the daily pivot cutting right through price. You've got the monthly pivot down here. You've got the weekly pivot way up here. If the bulls prevail today, if they find a catalyst and they like what they see, if they can get over 38, the natural destination over the course of the next three days would be a test of weekly pivot up at 69. Absolutely, without a doubt. Uh, not too unlike last week, let me zoom this out, where we started out a heck of a lot higher than last week's weekly pivot at 2749. Remember the two failed attempts at 2800. And then by the time we reach Thursday, hello weekly pivot. Well, you get a catalyst out of the Fed, Thursday come Friday, hello weekly pivot, okay? Price likes to migrate to the weekly pivot, it just does. Um, and the bears have had every opportunity to convert this monthly pivot, and if they continue to demonstrate that monthly pivot is support, then the next natural reaction breaking out of, a, uh, out of uh, tight Bollinger Bands like this would be to go ahead and take it up and go see weekly pivot. Um, I wanna thank everybody who came out to the webinar yesterday after the close. I've got some tremendous feedback. I've got three different people that said it was the best one we've ever done. So uh, for those of you that attended, I sent out the webinar uh, recording, uh, subscribers webinar recording is coming out. And for the, uh, for, the, for the general public, for those of you that didn't take advantage of the live show, we'll have that up on the website later today. And I'm even gonna turn it into a podcast because it, it was basically audio. Uh, but it was a good chance to sit down and really talk about a lot of the things that, pe that, that we all, including myself, do wrong as traders and some techniques to try to uh, adjust that stuff. Um, so everybody have a fantastic day. If you're up here with us in the Northeast, be safe. A um, lot of new people coming in this morning. If you wanna join them, come check us out. We would love to have you. We'll do another free webinar in a couple of weeks. Um, until then, trade them well. I'm gonna try to get uh, some stuff out on social today, um, uh, midday updates and wrap ups depending on how things go. All right, take care, trade them well, talk to you then. Follow us over on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat, at Princeton Trader. Check us out on Facebook, and join us for a free trial at www.princetontrader.com. Trade